Last week was a really exciting week. The Apple Vision Pro finally launched. The Apple Vision Pro, or AVP, is Apple's new flagship product, which is an immersive spatial computer. In other words, a VR or AR headset that does a lot more than the VR or AR headsets that we've been used to. The combination of the incredible hardware, the operating system software, and the interactions that they've designed really allow you to interact with this device like a computer with floating windows and 3D applications all around you. Unlike other VR or AR headsets, the Apple Vision Pro has a lot of processing power to Apple Silicon chips. So I want to dive into what this means for design and construction workflows. And I've got really good news for you. On day one, Resolve launched an application for the Apple Vision Pro on the App Store. As one of my favorite YouTube content creators, MKBHD, put it, the Apple Vision Pro is a taste of the future with today's technology. So the Resolve team wanted to make sure that architecture, engineering, construction, and operations professionals could also get a taste of this future as it applies to their day-to-day -day workflows with BIM. To really understand the potential for Apple Vision Pro in BIM workflows, I think it's important to look at the software and hardware behind it. First, let's just look at Apple Vision Pro. This is the device, a really thin, very well-built VR AR headset or spatial computer. This is it without the facial cover. If I put my light seal on, it looks like what you're normally used to. So let's talk about what makes it so special. It's got an incredibly high resolution display. This means looking at 2D documents in Apple Vision Pro or pulling up websites or things with a lot of detail are going to look a lot better than what you're used to on your average VR headset. It's got incredibly natural input. It's tracking your eyes at all times. So as you're looking around without really even thinking, when you pinch your fingers, it selects what you were looking at. This might sound a little overwhelming, but when you try it, it really is a magical way of interacting with the world around you. One thing that I think is a really big deal for BIM workflows is that it is incredibly easy to set up Apple Vision Pro and start using it. There is no guardian or calibration required. You put the device on and you immediately start interacting with things. And I think this simplicity speaks to the design philosophy of the hardware and software. It all just works and you don't have to think about what's going on, which is really important for BIM workflows and adoption in design and construction because it really makes the technology invisible and easy for anyone to use. I think the power of Apple Vision Pro is in its ability to supercharge multidimensional multitasking. Let me break down what that means. If you've seen videos of people using the device, you've seen the ads, you've probably noticed that a lot of the content is 2D based. There's floating windows all around you that you can interact with. That might seem unimpressive at first until you realize that that is the entry point into more immersive experiences. And I think for BIM and AEC workflows, that's a big deal because it means you can have your 2D content that is an established part of the industry and isn't going anywhere and then seamlessly transition into a 3D spatial environment, whether that's overlaying a model on top of your environment or being fully immersed in a 3D model. And that's what the Resolve app on the App Store gives you a taste of if you go try it today. You don't need an account. This has been a workflow that's been hard to achieve on other devices where when you transition into VR, you're leaving behind a lot of the content that is still valuable to you, like your 2D sheets or other types of 2D content that live on your computer. With Apple Vision Pro, Apple's intent is for this to be your computer. So you're not leaving anything behind. And I think there's a really powerful ecosystem that they tap into because they've got all these iOS apps and SDKs for developers to build off of. For example, you can open up ACC or Procore's iPad app and navigate it as if it were an iPad floating in front of you. And then in the click of a button, jump into a 3D environment in an application like Resolve, but bring that iPad app with you. And suddenly you have your ACC issues floating in front of you and you're running multiple apps at the same time, but in different dimensions. One is 2D, one is full 3D. And you can go back and forth however you see fit 
in the Resolve app on the App Store, you can interact with these 2D PDFs and it feels really smooth. You can zoom in and out with pinch to zoom like you're used to. You can drag and scroll around the 2D PDF. And of course, you can pull up issues and click on them and see them in your model. This is only the tip of the iceberg. Everything is just getting started. It's not even a week old. And I'm really excited to keep exploring what we can build and what kinds of workflows work best for the spatial computer and especially see how the hardware evolves to adapt to the needs of users. Part of Apple's ecosystem is also seamless communication with applications like FaceTime, and that's all built into the device. So out of the box, applications can be screen shared from within Apple Vision Pro, and you can see other people that you might be communicating with, and even through applications like Zoom, because you can have a floating Zoom window while having another app running, you're not restricted, you're just running one app at a time. Again, it's multitasking and it's multidimensional. You can have your colleagues as their 2D video feeds on the wall while you've got your 3D model all around you and you're walking them through it. Of course, there are some limitations and concerns that are worth addressing. First of all, while it does have augmented reality, it is pass-through, meaning the real world is being directed to your eyes through cameras and screens. This presents some obvious safety concerns for using it on site, but I do think there are very powerful on site adjacent applications like in site trailers. And I think with time, we'll start to see where this device fits into workflows out in the field. This is an Apple device, which means that Windows only programs and Windows workflows are not really compatible with it right now. You're not gonna be able to open up native Navisworks in the device, but when we have a device that can do that, the possibilities are endless. You have a traditional Navisworks window in front of you and in the click of a button, you're in your Navisworks model and you're making issues and you're going back and forth between 2D, 3D and full immersive 3D. But this is a taste of that future and you can try that out with a Resolve app on the App Store right now. Movement through large 3D scenes or large 3D BIM is a little tricky right now. You can walk around your living room or small spaces, your office, and windows stay anchored to where you left them, but moving around a larger environment is a bit trickier. And because there aren't hand controllers, everything relies on hand input and hand track. So while you can walk around a small part of your model, a mechanical room, an electrical room, getting around a massive model that is acres big or an entire campus, that is still gonna need a little bit more work. The last concern worth addressing is the price point. It starts at $3,500, and that depends on how many accessories you add, what size storage you get. But the price is really because there is incredible hardware in here. There are two Apple Silicon chips, an M2 and an R1. So there's a lot of tech packed into here and it's only generation one. For the price of the Apple Vision Pro, you can of course buy several MetaQuest 3s. So teams will have to think about where this fits into their workflows as we go forward. And hopefully we'll see cheaper version down the line. Like I said before, it hasn't even been a week. The app on the store right now is a taste of spatial computing for the construction industry. You can see what it's like to bring in your 2D data and then access your 3D model in an immersive way with the Apple Vision Pro. So if you got an Apple Vision Pro, go give it a try and let us know what you think. We're really excited to keep building out the Resolve platform and this device is definitely a next step in the evolution of immersive technology and spatial computing for construction. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.